good morning everybody it's really creepy when you wake up in the morning and it's one thing i really love though in the fall and see a bunch of fog outside uh actually when I woke up this morning earlier, you couldn't even see the house next to me. It's starting to lift a little bit now, but you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like out here. It's really creepy, huh? But in some ways, I think that's just absolutely amazing. I don't know what it is about fog that uh, that just kind of, yeah, I guess it's the fact that I love spooky movies and, and it's just a really cool time of the year. Regardless, anyways, hey, we're uh, a week into November now. And one of the things I was thinking about was uh, the fact that I still haven't shaved this month. And, and do you guys do the whole November beard thing? What do you guys think? Should I go the whole month and see what I can do? I've never been a big facial hair guy, although I do keep it a little bit scruffy. So go ahead and let me know. Anyways, got a lot of work today. I'm gonna finish up just cleaning up the kitchen a little bit, and then I'm off to the shop, and uh, it's gonna be a normal day of snake work, which is really cool. I love normal days, so uh, let's get this day started. What in the hell is going on in here? Office, like right now. <laughs> well, there goes the monetization for this video. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so a ton of people always ask me about this flag right here and whose it is and what it means to me. Now let me start by saying that I actually have two flags. One is from my dad who's at home and it's a special place for me. This one in particular, I want to hang this up and kind of share this with you. This was actually a friend of mine that gave this to me and it, it was so special because he basically said that when he was in Afghanistan that he used to watch my show and, and actually his whole group of people watched the show and it helped them kind of just break that, le you know, that, that intense war environment. But anyways, this is what it says. This is to certify that this flag was flown aboard the CH 53E Super Stallion Helicopter, side number 66, in support of combat operation in Helmand Province, Afghanistan, during the Operation Enduring Freedom 14.1, proudly by Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 466 on April 12th of 2014. So you can't even imagine what it, I mean, I'm such a huge supporter of our military and, and really people around the world that give their service to their country. Whether you believe in the wars, or that's, I'm not even gonna go there because I'm not a big fan of wars, but I am a huge supporter of all our military services here in the US and really around the world. So thank you. And I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up right above this flag just to kind of make sure that I commemorate that as well. So there you have it. You guys thought, it, and, and if you're in the service, thank you. Thank you for what you do. And I'm not just talking about America, any service around the world. You guys are amazing and you have all of my support. So I'm gonna hang this up. So there you have it. You know, I have a lot of possessions in life, but but things like this, this is this is really special to me. So one of the things you may have noticed is that, you know, a few weeks back, it seemed like every other day I was feeding this row and the other rows of colubrids. And basically, you haven't seen that in the vlog for a while now. Let me explain what's going on here is that we actually are cleaning those snakes out to get ready for hibernation. So these are colubrid snakes, you know, stuff even like these rhino rats, uh, you know, all the rat snakes, corn snakes, king snakes, all that type of stuff. These guys actually go into hibernation. Uh, take a look at this 
this guy here. This is actually a, a granite Max Max. So that's a San Luis Potosi king snake. Really a beautiful animal. Anyways, all these guys go into hibernation uh, for about three months. Typically, like the end of November, I put them down, and then uh, December, January, February, and sometime in March, I bring them out of hibernation. Snakes are ectothermic, so basically they're the same temperature as whatever their environment is. So they're digesting because they're warm. As soon as you cool them off, their digestive system shuts down. And if you haven't cleared them out of all their food, it's gonna rot in there and they're gonna die. So anyways, point is, we take them off for three to four weeks. We are gonna do a complete revamp of these cages. So every single one of these cages gets torn down, bleached out, perfectly good. So Because again, their immune system is really down during hibernation as well. So if there's any kind of you know bacteria growth or anything like that, it's gonna be really detrimental for them. So here pretty soon, we're gonna go ahead and revamp all these guys into really clean cages. Then we're gonna stick them down. Believe it or not, they go down to about 50 to 52 degrees dark for three months. And then of course we bring them up and we breed them. You may ask, why do you do that? Why do you hibernate them? Two reasons. One is that a lot of people do believe, and I'm in that camp, that that dormant period is what kind of sparks off follicular growth as well as spermatogenesis in males so that they're producing fertile sperm. Now you can breed this stuff without hibernating, but it helps to hibernate them. Two, just get some out of your hair for a little while. Hey, I love my snakes, but let's face it, if I can get rid of a thousand snakes, I have no expenses into them for three months, it just kind of gives me a chance to focus on python breeding, on raising up some other snakes and whatever else we need to do, and that's a good thing, you know? And then when I bring them out of hibernation, it's almost like I got a whole new collection like that I don't even hardly remember about. Although we do check them at least once a week, we go through and do waters and stuff like that. So anyways, point is, you haven't seen me work on these a lot, but today I'm gonna go through and spot clean because it's been about a week since I've spot cleaned them. So I'm gonna do a real quick spot clean, make sure everything's still looking good after they been off a of few food for you know a couple weeks and uh, see where we're at. I'm going to take a break from spot cleaning really quick because I need your guys' advice on something or, or really opinion, not necessarily advice. Okay, so uh, of course earlier in the week we saw Speedy here uh, cruising around with the little Speedy cam on top of his thing and you know you guys seem to really like it uh and, and so i was kind of thinking i want to do one of two things but i kind of want your advice a little bit let's see should i do i was thinking about either doing a facebook live where i just had a camera on his in, in for an hour or so just let him cruise around you guys could watch him cruise around and i would answer questions as you guys are asking and stuff like that or two and this is a little bit more I'm not sure if it did. <laughs> what do you think about a speedy cam where I actually have a cam on him 24 hours a day? And uh, of course he spends his evening in, in his pen over here so that wouldn't be that exciting. But during the day, he just kind of cruises around and gets himself into trouble all over the place. So would you guys want a speedy cam or would you want to do a Facebook Live or is that just a stupid idea? Let me know down below if you guys want a speedy cam uh, that's always on, or you want uh, a Facebook Live event with Speedy where, you know, we're just <laughs> letting him comment down below. Let me know what you guys want and I'll do whatever. And I'm gonna get back to spot cleaning. As you guys are doling out advice like with the speedy thing, I want to ask you two questions. One would be, uh, what else can we do to, as a community to, to kind of grow the audience, whether it's on the vlog channel or the main channel? I mean, what kind of interesting ideas, kind of innovative uh, ideas would you want me to try to do? You know, the fact that we have kind of an okay audience, maybe you have an idea that you think can expand that, and I would love to hear it. So go ahead and let me know if you have something, and I don't mean like, oh, show more boas. I mean like, do you have something interesting like the Speedy Cam, or let me know, you know, or maybe a new show I should add in. You know, I have considered, not that I'm, I'm really anywhere close to this. I have considered about doing a, an additional show on the main channel, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't even decided. But but if you have some ideas for me, let me know. And then two, and this is what I'm really struggling with, guys. When I started daily vlogging, really I'm doing Monday through Friday, so theoretically it's not really 
daily vlogging, is it? Because I'm not doing it Saturday and Sunday. But one of the things I said when I first started the Monday through Friday vlog was that I might go to seven days a week when I hit 50,000 subs. Well, we're at almost 36,000 subs now or somewhere around there. And I think that there's a good chance that we could hit 50,000 by the end of the year, maybe even sooner. Now, before you guys say, oh, Brian, you need your downtime. And I get it. Yes, I do. I, I mean, we all do. But the truth is, I love making this vlog. I, I absolutely, it's, it, I'm so passionate about it. So, so and, and it's not like I'm doing really extra stuff in the vlog. I'm just, it takes a little longer because I have to film things, but, but it's not like tons more work. It's just, it's it's a lot of fun, and, and I love it. So I have thought about going, you know, seven days a week. So let me know what you guys think. Should I go seven days a week, or should I just keep it Monday through Friday and, and just leave it as it is and just work on that? Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so guys, I am wrapped up here at the shop and I'm gonna hit the road. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting. Tonight, I have uh, uh, senior pictures for my son. My son, Noah, is, is a senior this year. And so remember Aaron from when we were over at the alligator farm? Aaron, how you feeling, man? Great. Is that strong. awesome or what? They're always stronger than they look. He's a really great photographer and cinematographer. One of the best in Detroit. He's one of the most sought out, and he's a great friend of mine. So he's actually gonna be doing Noah senior pictures. I was born and raised near Detroit. I absolutely love this city. We get such a bad rap. I'm telling you what, Detroit is absolutely awesome. senior pictures and heading out to dinner but uh what a great city if you guys ever get a chance to come down to detroit you gotta do it uh i love this place so much what do you think noah what how'd that shoot go i don't think all right so a famous place here in detroit is called slow's barbecue right here this place is absolutely incredible uh typically if you come on the weekend you're gonna wait maybe three hours to get in it's uh a weekday so we should be okay so apparently even on the weekdays there's a half hour wait so we are in this really cool bar right next to it gonna have a drink and we'll wait around. 